Hi, today we're going to be learning about isometric design. You can, artists use it in order to make either 2D or 3D artworks. And you can see here some examples of 2D designs, which are more radial, meaning that they're rotating around in a circular design. Or they could be more 3D. And you can see some examples here of some artwork that students created. And here's an actual plate that a student created using the isometric graphic to design something that's more three-dimensional. This one's abstract because it was simplified from something real life. He was trying to make it look sort of like this um, imaginary cityscape, whereas some are more non-objective because they're just the most important thing are the lines and forms. And your idea will be to be creative and really express yourself creatively either using the triangular line paper or the dots. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to use the triangular paper to do something more 2D. When you start looking at it, you will start finding hexagons. Now, or you'll also be able to find triangles. Now, one thing you'll notice with that is a problem with this paper is it's very hard to see what you drew against the graph paper. It may be helpful to draw it out, figure out your idea, but then to make it easier to see, to, to use a colored pencil, and they're in the bins at your tables. So if it helps you, you can see here's triangles, and you can start making these equilateral triangles into a radial design. You could continue the patterns. You can also do the same with hexagons, and if you think about once you start seeing them, you can get some really neat designs. Now, you will need to keep in mind the criteria for your printing plate. You will need to have a balance of positive spaces that'll print, negative spaces that'll be carved away, and some kind of texture like stripes, hatching lines, or concentric designs, or something for texture. So. Um, here you can see the positive and negative have been alternating. This is not quite balanced though if I look at my criteria because this empty space here and here needs some more designs in it. So I would go back and add some more. If this were my design, I wouldn't be quite ready yet um, because I would need to add some more black shapes on to balance it on this area and over here. The same thing is true on the back. On the back, you, a lot of people find the dot paper a little more successful for them, especially once they get a hang of it. A lot of kids find it's easier to get started with this lined triangle paper, but once they get the idea of it, then they like to design by connecting the dots. And I find it helpful to use triangles or a ruler to um, make this, and it's simply because the lines aren't in the way on the dot paper, but you can still make really neat triangles. You can find triangles in it, you can find hexagons. Now, obviously I would need to continue this because it's not balanced. I don't, I need the whole plate. This is exactly the same size. I want it to work the design all the way to the paper edges. Now, you can also design 3D, and that is something that takes a little practice. In order to actually get started using 3D, I recommend if, to start to try it out on the line paper, and then you can either continue on the line one, or you can switch to the dots and just, but remember, you only need to turn in one of these two. Now with the, this, the most important thing to do is to find the front, the corner facing you on a cube. That's to help you figure out where, how to make things 3D. A lot of times kids say it looks like a capital letter Y for that front corner. So once you find that, it's much easier to start designing 3D. So there's my Y, and now I can find the rest of the sides of the box with the corner facing me. And I can start figuring out how I want to make a much more interesting 3D design. And after you get the hang of this, if you decide to continue on this paper, remember you will need to go back and balance the positive and negative spaces by coloring in some black shapes, some should have stripes, and some should have white areas. On the dot paper, you can also design 3D. And this one is easy to see even without that. You can also find the Y 
to get started if you're having trouble getting started. And then once you know how to make a cube, looking, I'm looking at these two lines in parallel. Once I do find that, I can keep going, adding to it, I can branch off of it, and I can just keep, the possibilities are endless. You can have so much fun just designing really creative spaces, really neat designs. And here's one that is done using with a balance of white, black, and stripes. But this isn't quite balanced. If you look closely, it's not quite done. This corner, I would say to this student, why don't you add a couple more spaces? Remember, you're cutting away the white. That's an awful lot of white to remain. So I would go back and maybe add something there. Maybe I want to add something over here so that it's taking using up this space as well. And then I would be ready to check my criteria against that. Remember, neatness is also important. You want to keep it nice and neat and that you have that balance of the positive and negative spaces. And this image looks like it's about ready to be transferred in the next video onto your actual plate. Thank you so much.